give the IUPAC name of the following. So don't worry about all of this, just start expanding it slowly so we can see what this thing actually looks like. Okay, so CH3 is the first part. Then the next part, they tell us that there is a carbon, okay, and then there's two CH3s. So some students, they don't know whether that should go over here or whether they are branches. Now, I'm gonna try to show you that they are gonna be branches and they're not gonna be part of the main chain. Let's say our main chain goes like this, just to keep everything nice and simple. Okay, now if they were part of the main chain, you would have said CH3, but now you see, we're pretty stuck. Like how are you gonna add the second one? You can't add onto a hydrogen. So for that reason, they are not part of the main chain. Instead, they are branches. So you could rather do that and then easily put the three hydrogens in like that. Okay, and so there we've done up to this part. Now there's a CH2, that's an easy one, CH2. That's part of the main chain because you can easily add on to that. The next part is a CH, so we can say CH. And then there's this part over here now, which once again cannot be part of the main chain. Well. Mm, I'll show you what I mean. So you can't add two of these next to each other. Let me show you why. So let's say you try to add the first one, CH2 and then CH3. So that looks okay, but you wouldn't be able to add the second one to that because this is a hydrogen. But what you could do is just add it down here, CH2 and then CH3. You see, so what we just did is to this carbon over here, which is this one, we just added two CH2, CH3s. CH2, CH3, there's the first one, CH2, CH3, and here's another CH2, CH3. Okay, okay, so now we need to name this molecule. So we need to find the longest continuous chain. So let's try this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can we do more than six? I'm not sure, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's also six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I think six is the best weight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you're not gonna get more than six. So because of that, I'm just gonna use that as the main one because that's the easiest to work with. And then everything else that is coming off that is the branch, so that's a branch that's a branch, and that's a branch. We will start labeling from the left because that'll give us the lowest branch numbers. So that means this would be carbon one, this would be carbon two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so on carbon two, there is two methyl branches. So let's just write that in, methyl and methyl. On carbon four, um, there's two carbons in that branch. So that's an ethyl branch. Okay, so it's got six carbons. Six means hex. Now for the labeling of the branches, it has to be alphabetical. So E comes before M. So we'll start with carbon number four because that's carbon number four. And we'll say that carbon number four has an ethyl. Okay, and then carbon number two you're gonna do that twice because there's two of them. We're gonna say di because there's two of them, methyl. Whoops, I've run out of space there. Okay, and then we said hex. Now what type of molecule is this? Well, it's an alkane. It doesn't have any fancy double bonds or halogens. It's just a halo, I mean, it's just an alkane. So you just end the name like that.